Hi everyone, thank you for joining the Seek Science Club. And guess what? We have a guest visitor today. His name is Brian McKinney, and he is gonna tell you a little bit more about himself. Take okay. it over. <laughs> I'm Brian McKinney. I am um, a former NFL athlete, and I went to University of Miami, and I also played in NFL for 12 years. Played for the Minnesota Vikings, Baltimore Ravens, and the Miami Dolphins. Won a Super Bowl with the Baltimore Ravens and the National Championship of University of Miami. And I am here today with Anike. Yay! Who's going to teach me some things about STEM, right? Yeah, STEM. Right, so learn about STEM. Going to learn how to make some toner for our skin. Um, chemical free, that's pretty much all organic, and I guess we can show you guys how you can make it at home. That's right, so I didn't want to take over and tell you about this great man that's sitting next to me, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Yay! And I'm asking a lot of questions. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so today we're gonna to learn how to make an organic toner, mm -hmm. and um, I know for everybody at home, they probably wanna know what are the ingredients to take to make this. Okay, good question. Mm -hmm. The ingredients that you would need are three simple ingredients and we're also gonna throw a little science in there and we'll talk about mixtures. But let's get back to the ingredients. You are going to need aloe and if you don't have an aloe plant, it's okay, you can buy some from the store. Okay, so with the aloe, I see there's two different type of uh, blends. I see like there's chunks and I see there's gels in there. Mm -hmm. So explain to me about the aloe. So we're gonna explain about the science part oh, okay. with the aloe once we get past get back it. To it. Yeah. All right. Good question. Ah. I know you're ready. I'm ready too. Okay. All right. So you need aloe. You need cucumber juice, and you also need mi amor, rose water. Okay. But don't forget the container. So these are some containers that you can order from Amazon or any store, but I find them to be cheaper at Amazon because you know. What kind of container is it? This is a toner container. Okay. So you, this one you can actually just put your cotton, cotton ball. I don't want to say strip like around cotton. You just dab it and it'll come out. And you have some that you can spray. So it just depends on what type of bottle you want to okay. use. Like this one, it also have. Well, not have, but there is no like push yeah. down uh, button that you can use. You can just take the swab and put it on there. So it just depends on your preference with whatever bottle you need. So you just need, again, cucumber juice. And we're going to answer your question about the aloe and also rose water. Let's go ahead and get started where we left off. Brian asked the question about the little chunks that's inside of the aloe, if you can see there. There are some green pieces that come from the actual aloe plant and it's like serum with yellowish clear. And so the question is, why does it look like this or? Yeah, I was trying to figure out how um, it came up with that combination, um, like with gel and then you have chunks. Like what did you do? Okay, so good question. Mm -hmm. So this is a mixture because that's what the topic is. The topic for today is mixtures. And the gel, and the clear gel and the yellow stuff is the serum that comes from the inside of the aloe. But the green chunks is the actual plant. So I juiced it, well, use the blender, I blend it, and that's how I was able to get those green chunks. If you can see there, all right? The green chunks also with the serum, the serum. Mm -hmm. And this is a mixture that is called a heterogeneous mixture. The reason why it's a heterogeneous mixture is because you can see the different pieces. Like you see the serum here, there's yellow, there's green. It's a heterogeneous mixture and the base word hetero means different. So anytime you see something and it looks different but it's combined in a container or whether it's not in a container, container, it is a heterogeneous mixture. So give them an example of something that they may see in commonly Okay. That is considered a heterogeneous mixture. mixture. All right. So this is salad dressing. Now this one all looks one color. So this is kind of like a bad example. But if you can look closely, you may see like some, a little things on the side. So go in your refrigerator right now and find salad dressing or something. When you look at it, it has like different pieces in it that you can see. So like I was saying earlier, I think like Italian dressing. Yes, Italian dressing. Or even if um, it doesn't necessarily have to be a liquid, let's say a bag of trail mix. Okay. That's a mixture. It's a heterogeneous mixture because you see the different items inside the trail mix. 
So again, anytime you see something that has a difference in the substance, whether it's a liquid, whether it's a solid, it is a heterogeneous mixture. So good question, Brian, appreciate that. This is a heterogeneous mixture. Now we're gonna go into homogeneous mixtures. What color is this? Yep, you got it. It's a light blue color, but what's in it? Let's see. Brian, you think you can write something? Listen, some of these words. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it says like, you know, please excuse me if I mispronounce it because some of these words, if you cannot pronounce it, you don't need to use it. All right, so we have water, Alcohol, Danat, aloe, Barbadinus, leaf, extract, uh, Himalayas, witch hazel, extract, and then we have parfum, some M word that I cannot pronounce. I probably could pronounce it if I put it in dictionary.com. They would tell me how to oh. pronounce it, but we're not doing that today. So I said at least five of the ingredients. But if you notice, you have five different ingredients and there is no way that all five are this color. Mm -hmm. But they're blended in here and you see one color. So this one color means that this is a homogeneous mixture. The base word for homogeneous, not base word, but the prefix homo, that means same. So mm -hmm. if you ever get confused about mixtures, if they're a heterogeneous mixture or a homogeneous mixture, just know that prefix for homo means same. This all looks the same. And hetero, this has some different stuff in there. It's different, okay? So now you should know the difference between a homogeneous mixture and a heterogeneous mixture. Now let's make this tuna. So you're gonna take two, um, let's take this out. See that, look at that. This help your skin to stay tight too. This is like a natural Botox. <laughs> so take two tablespoons, All right? Cause you don't need a lot. This is very powerful. See, it's just a little bit. There you have it. Don't need a whole lot. Mm -hmm. That thing looks good. <laughs> he will always say, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, yours look really good. All right, so now you have the cucumber juice and you also have the rose gold, I mean, not rose gold, I'm thinking of cell phone. The rose water, you see it's like a light pinkish color. And you're gonna pour just half and half, like so here, you're just gonna try to pour half and half inside of the tube. So you're gonna take the cucumber juice and pour it to about here, like the center, a little bit above the center of it. And depending on what jar you use, all you need is really like one or two tablespoons, maybe three or four, but you don't, if you have a larger jar, but it's usually just one or two tablespoons because this is really strong, all right? So I'm gonna take this beaker right here and pour it inside the container using this way because it has a beaker like a bird. All right. My turn? Yep. Step number three, we're gonna fill the rest up to the top. My uh, turn. Right. <laughs> and it looks like this. Yeah. Now, you're gonna take your top, put it on there, turn it. Shake it up. Shake it up, baby. Hey, I was getting ready. I was getting ready to say, shake it up, baby. Now shake it up, baby. Come on, ice cream. Shake them up, shake them up, shake them up, shake them up. Hardcore. All right, so now it should be all mixed together. And if you notice, what type of mixture is this? If you can see the stuff in it, that means it is a Hetero. Yep, and if you can't see, if it's all clear, it would be Homo. homogeneous mixture. Good job. So there you have it. The topic is mixtures. Well, mixtured. 
and we talked about heterogeneous mixture and a homogeneous mixture. So make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel at Seek Foundation. And thanks for our guest, and Ryan. Thank you for having me. And don't forget, Seek Science Club is sponsored by Seek Foundation, and you can join us at www.seekedu.org. Bye!